welcome to another episode of Rookie Collectibles. We are in Manila, Philippines today for ToyCon 2018. Uh, this year's installment is a very pop life predominant yes, yeah. um, event, I guess. So there's a lot of pretty cool stuff inside. And um, we are here on a Friday. There's two more days uh, in which the uh, event to go yeah, forth basically with. Basically, it is a three day yeah. conference. Right. We're here kind of like on the first day, right. which is also a working day. So right, so there's lesser people. people. Yeah. yeah. Which is why it's good for us to show you guys around the conference today, yep. or the convention rather. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so behind, yeah. behind us is the booth, but right here, check it out. Pop Life Fan Experience, it says. Uh, some brand stuff. And uh, let's head in. Upon coming in from the uh, entrance over there, we actually have this nuclear waste zombie research facility. What's cool about this is it's actually a makeup station behind there where you know people who's queuing up can actually get oh there's a there's a Rick Grimes cosplay over there. Anyway, um, so they can actually get makeup done like a zombie yeah, style kind of thing. It's really really realistic and yeah. really that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Ah, check this out. Wow, <laughs> oh, man. That's me when I get hungry, man. <laughs> uh, Alright. Yeah. Moving on next. So that, that's really cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, the next booth we have is Pop Life, which is which has brought pretty much like all their brands in. Oh my god, you can't see that very clearly, but there we go. All their brands in. Um, and they've got pretty pretty cool vinyl toys here on display. Um, with, there is the Martian over here, this is the Ron English one. There is the Liberty one as well. This that comes in two colours. And um, so they brought a lot of stuff here. This is called Rechild. That's kind of freaky. Yeah, this is kind of dark, man. Yeah. Lucky Cat Green. Now, this is from their Sofubi Originals brand. Also, Propaganda. Yeah. Um, there's Demon Embryo. This is by this. Black Seed. Right. Yeah, the wow. guy behind. E is so long. E yeah, so long. <laughs> right over there. It's the E so long. It's not cheap, though. Yeah, I have it's to not. Say. It's really, really pretty, though. So, we just did an unboxing of Konatsuya and. Like oh yeah, that we did. Right. This is a full size figure. Look at right. This. My goodness. And yeah. the detail on this is fantastic as well. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Uh, and over here we have Soda Cats, <laughs> which is really cute. Yeah. Moving wow. downwards, um, there is a convention exclusive. It's the French Fries Dragon. Um, also, a collection in Singapore actually carries this as well. Mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool. Now these are not for sale. We have the Peanut Dwarf. And uh, what's that? The hamburger dragon. <laughs> yeah, I think the box design is kind of cool. It's kind of like a retro Chinese kind of yeah. version. Yeah. So that's that. Okay, and on this side, we actually have more Sofubi stuff. There is Lionfish by Andy Chen. This is a very elaborate piece, I have to say. Uh, and of course, Miyashi by Tree Tights Tattoo. Um, they are also the ones um, that actually did the Fudomio, as in they did a version of the Fudomio, Which is the Funko Pop. Pop. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this Double Trouble uh, Yoshi. Check it out. He's not. That's not the cute Yoshi that we yeah, normally it's see. Not. Yep. Um, on the contrary, some people might find that cute. Uh, Zen Shin makes this Rechild by Mind Style. Uh, it's a, it has a very human centipede vibe. I have yeah. to say. Um, Pot drugs. What's that? <laughs> Next up! And on the main counter, uh, <laughs> look at that. Donald T. Rich Green. I wonder who that's based on. <laughs> um, they've got lots of limited edition pops here. We've got a propaganda mix super size yeah. here as well. Yeah, I think this is more of the Chinese version. Ah, right. It's more of the. Well. Yeah, it's just serving the people. <laughs> Lucky Cat Green. And I think that's where they mainly just sell most of the other stuff. They have also got sort of blind box and smaller vinyl figure size kind yeah, of. Yeah, these are based um, on the serial mascots, right? Right. It, it says funny sex pack. <laughs> yeah. <this laughs> Am nice. I supposed to be saying that on it? <laughs> yeah. There's only the tiger over there. Yeah. Poo fairy. It's pretty cool. Poo fairy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they're actually all here. They are all for pretty nice size as well. 
So as you can take a look at them. And there is also this, which uh, we actually bought and we have done unboxings on Instagram, right? Yeah. So do check that out um, if you have not yet on our Instagram page, which um, all of them look like that. Check it out. Uh, over here, these are what you can get in the boxes. We've got a normal colored Maneki Neko Lucky Cat Grin, Punk Skunk again, uh, Astro Boy. So this is this is what you get if you actually buy the VIP uh, edition of the tickets here. Yeah, so what's different is that there is also the propaganda box, but yep. what you get is actually a special like secret. Yeah, so sort of like a case, exclusive right? Or exclusive, there we go. Yeah. And then you have Fruit Loop, which is a fat carrot. Yeah, this is actually the same for the six pack, but you get a random one, so you're not guaranteed. Oh, right. Really? Okay. I think so. And uh, over here we have propaganda and uh, it's like an enamel pin of sorts. It's not really an enamel pin, it's a pin. <laughs> Uh, and this is pretty cool. This is Astro Boy and Ron English with his very famous green. Look at that. Alright, moving on. We have Flyboy by Hebrew Brand. Pretty cool. No, Over this here. is a familiar character. Oh, right. <laughs> Matt Glad Boy, that's what it's called. Yeah, that looks like Big, uh, what's that, Big Boy? Big Boy. What's that? The burger mascot? I think so. <laughs> I remember. Uh, and then we have Donald T. Reach. So that's what it looks like there. And we have a larger sized one. This is kind of like the original colorway. And of course, it's a mono colorway, which means it's, it's a more black and white affair. Um, over here, we have more propaganda stuff. There's the Mac Super Sized. And um, this is Camo Manila. This is what it's called. Um, might be for this particular um, con over here. Again, it's a different colorway as well. There's the purple and the green. Depends whether you like the, that kind of colorway and stuff. And over here, what's this called? They do not have a... Tag for it. Yeah, a tag yeah. to name that. Like that was a Buddha. Okay. Right. Um, they also have more. This is a huge Ron English propaganda pop-up area. And there's Fat Tony over there, life-size. We're gonna have Cheryl stand beside Fat. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah, but, but he does have a, that thing though. Anyway, uh, skateboard decks as well. So these are from the uh, serial... Mascot? Serial oh. Killers is actually, I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. There's Fruit Loop, Quicks, Bunny Tricks, uh, uh, Sugar Frosted Fat, that's Fat Tony, Frank and Fat. And oh, hello! <laughs> and there's more merch over here that you can get. Um, that's a, there are bags, tote bags, and these are... What, the, what are these? Literal pop Literal pop <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, backpacks as well, caps, like and pins. enamel pins. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Lots of enamel pins. Almost, Almost sold out. out. Almost sold out, oh no. <laughs> uh, how much is it going for? The pins? Yeah. So we will be back to buy this after filming this. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, over here, are these the same? No, they are not. So there are other designs the for the skate decks. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, and um, oh, even phone cases as well. You see, it's time to switch back to an Apple. <laughs> uh, there are sunglasses. Oh, well, this pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Pretty, yeah, interesting. And um, oh, there's headbands as well. T-shirts also. So. Maybe, just maybe we'll grab some of those. Yeah. Uh, and then this is a pretty cool prototype looking Mario with the green. And then you have a foot mat, is that what it is? Floor mat. <laughs> mat. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that's what the apparel look like. Pretty cool. Alright, oh, it does look awesome though. And then that over there is probably like the the celebrity lounge of sorts. So these are the um, celebs that are coming down. You have Apple the App from Black Eyed Peas, Michael Copon, Kevin Grievous, uh, Jason David Frank, that's Green Ranger, uh, Dante Basco, Kelly Fu, Neil Adams, and Travi McCoy. What a pass. Yeah, let's move on. Um, so there are game areas in the center over on the other side. I don't think we'll show you much over there because 
they are blasting loud music yeah here. copyrighted music yeah. so it's very difficult for us to show you guys that but this is the main part of the con uh, over on that side we have lots of food over that side lots of toys check it out i'm gonna flip the camera around for you guys to see <laughs> and let's go and check it out all right behind cheryl right now there is a hot toys booth um, that has all the avengers infinity war um is that, oh look it's emma watson she's in a box okay but anyways <laughs> Um, alongside that, we do have um, more detailed sculptures and figures. Um, this company here is called Scaff. Is that right? Am I, am I pronouncing it right? Um, Dragon Ball fans, Naruto fans, they're all here. That's pretty cool. Um, and over here, as you can see with the pop backdrop, um, there is pops. There are pops, rather. The grammar is all over the place today. Um, XM Studios is here as well if we are talking about like the league of very what, what is the word? Detailed. detailed toys um, There's always XM, there has to be XM Look at stuff like that, that is crazy Look at the detail I think you guys have seen it before like with um, when, we, when we did the STGCC um, that's the Singapore Toy Game and Comic Convention. Yep. Yeah. So those are pretty cool. Um, over here, our friends from Korea. It's Anatoy. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, the entire team is here. We'll probably be doing an interview with them soon. So do catch that episode coming out as well. But here's a quick showcase of the products they have on display. These are more collaborations on the right. Oh yeah, yeah. lots of pretty cool collabs over here. Design over here. Oh, yeah, we did an episode with Classic Bot, so do check that out as well. Um, but lots of familiar names that we can see over here and of course there's a an attack which they're doing in collaboration with Quick. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna move over to the other side. There's more artist stuff over here. Um, so these are actually artist booths which will be packed. Even more packed actually. Yeah. Um, and alright, so we've got a bunch of um, Malaysian artists over here as well. Hi guys! <laughs> yeah, just a quick one. Just wanna show everyone. Um, oh, look at yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us like really quickly about each toy? This is the short neck giraffe. Short neck giraffe. Short neck giraffe. Yeah, so the neck that obviously is short. Okay. <laughs> Quick print as well if you want to. Okay. Yeah. So this is from the company Mayan Mayan, right? Or Mayan Mayan. Mayan yeah, Mayan. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so you can check that out. Yeah. Mine, mine. Yeah. But this is more than just like a toy, it's also a functional item. Yeah, the functional item, there's a hidden USB inside. There is a hidden USB. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we so see that real yeah. quick? <laughs> Oh, look at that! Yeah, <laughs> very cool. You can put your name card as well? Yeah? yeah. Alright, yeah. That's very cool. Well, thank you, Luke. Thank you. <laughs> Jacqueline, can you tell us more about your toy? So, this is Goo. Ooh. The rice eating yokai. Okay. So it's basically a yokai that really likes rice. Wow, cool. that's like <laughs> It has a characteristic. If you do not feed Goo and oh, gets no. hungry, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, oh no. Wow. <laughs> Like a kaiju that destroyed farms and all that kind of thing. Wow, cool. I'm not feeding it, it become a 12-inch vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, thanks, thanks. We will be uh, uh, grabbing an interview with you soon as well. Right. So, yeah, do hang tight for those. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. We're at the quick booth. Where... There we go. That's our guy. Quick says, uh, is selling the Manila Killer edition of the tech. 63 look at that so that's the 12 inch version the 3 inch no that's 6 inch version and then we have a small 3 inch version one over here um, there is Shaco and Remy as well I do like the Evangelion colorway on that very much and um, the shirts as well look at that best to get a little bit signing in <laughs> Chase, 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 yes, chase, please. Higher <laughs> chance when quicks open it. Well. <laughs> yeah. I feel pressure. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. It's good pressure. <laughs>
It's alright, 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 cool, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice. That's over here, Remy's over there. This one. And further down the, um, this aisle, you also have like artists that will actually do custom drawings. And that's pretty cool stickers right there as well. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> and um, there's some Steven Universe stuff over there. There's some paper craft stuff over there. And more stickers over here. Wow, that's cuphead. I might just buy some. Yeah. <laughs> um, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty cool. And over on this end, it's pretty much lots and lots of toy stores exhibiting. There is a toy gallery over here in the center. That's pretty cool. Oh no, that's oh yeah, that is soldiers. <laughs> So look at that, um, wow, that's the Millennium Falcon up there. And um, it's just like display cases and display cases worth the toys. Pretty nice stuff. That's a Gundam that seems to be made out of cardboard. And um, that's someone's Batman collection over there. Oh, and Freddy Funko, the entire collection of the Zodiac. Oh, that is the Zodiac. And this is by Funko Fanatic Philippines. <laughs> nice. So that's where it came from. Thank you, Kennedy. Jane. Thank you, Kennedy. And Nelson for showing Oh, that's your... a pretty nice uh, wacky wobbler, is it? Oh, yeah, okay, that's Funko. pretty cool. Uh, Krauss shows off his a Lot of the Rings collection. We have a cool backdrop as well. And Gerard has a Power Rangers lineup over here. Just short of the metallic, uh, what's that, Megazord. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, moving on, we have. Well, there's Blythe's over there as well. <laughs> what else do we have? Uh, we have some Miku Hatsune stuff over there. And it's just pretty cool displays over displays. There's Pokemon stuff. That is pretty like never ending and look at that, it's an army of Superman. Wow. <laughs> oh, sorry. That is oh look at that, it's like a Wonder Woman shrine. And this is like a Wonder Woman collector's PH. Check it out. There's probably every single Wonder Woman toy you can fathom that's out right now. Pretty cool stuff. Batman collectors. That's pretty insane. Oh, we have the Philippine garrison of the 501st Legion. Hi, guys. Oh, there's Tiny Ghost by Reese O'Brien here as well. Check it out. There is. I like the glow in that one. Yeah. And hey, hey. Hey. It's Elfie. Salt of this. Oh, this looks pretty badass. Check it out. Wow. How much was spent on that? On just getting the troopers, man. Wow, check it out. Transformers toys. I am so glad we are not into Transformers. <laughs> that would have cost a hell lot more money. That's pretty cool. That's not real by the way. But the Famicom here probably is. It's a collector's item right now. Hopefully we can find one in Japan when we are there. Oh that's pretty cool, yeah. Check it out. And... There's some Mario Kart stuff here as well. And those cakes as well. Pretty cool stuff. More Gundam stuff, Iron Man over here. And over here, check it out. <laughs> Wowee. The effort that goes into this. Wow, there's like a Coca Cola shrine over there. <laughs> Look at that. That is pretty cool. All the Coke stuff. And some Barbies here as well. Yeah. Coke Barbies. Barbies on Coke. <laughs> Um, let's move on really quickly then. We also have these very, very detailed fighter jets. And look at that, that's the Millennium Falcon again. Oh, 
Wow, there's another tiny ghost Asia display over here. Pretty cool. More of the releases, and these are customs, I'm presuming. Look at that. And chrome ones at the back. Those are yeah. filled with actual cereal and actual candy, cereal? I think. What? Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. And uh, wow, this is a very detailed yeah, Atlas and Peabody from Portal 2. Wow, wow, wow. And I think that brings us to the end already, though. The end of the toy gallery, that be. There's much more to see. Let's go see. <laughs> There seems to be a lot of all these very detailed um, sculptures and there, there's like thousand percent beverage here as well right behind like Boba Fett but anyway um, there, there are booths of on the other side blasting music at the top of <laughs> the yeah. volume ranges that was, makes it very difficult for us to film there and of course give a commentary but we just want to show you some of the shops that are around here yeah there's actually and a lot of shops there are a lot of shops yeah, yeah but i mean there's only so much we can actually film um so if you want to check out more do come down actually uh to the con the, the, the con maybe next year or yeah. something i mean <laughs> but right now let's just see what they have um look at that this is big boys ph um, they are a toy store here in Philippines that actually sell lots and lots of Funko products um, and They sell a lot of rare it, stuff as yeah. well, yeah Yeah, they do You can see on the shelf later, it's just a Right, let me just show you guys um, Over here we've got, I guess, the, the commons, lots of commons actually yeah. And they actually go for a pretty good price in yeah. conventions as well That's a, It's kind of like a buy one, take one kind of thing And there is also the GI Tour Oh right, yeah, they do have a GI Tour That's behind there though There's nothing that we've not seen before <laughs> Okay, wow <What? laughs> Those are the last two pieces Those are the last two pieces of the tours Okay, that's pretty Oh well <laughs> As you can see They have lots and lots of um, It's a pretty cool range And it's like vaulted pops here as well I'm just gonna zoom it in Over there Ah, uh, I do want to get some of those But they are still rather pricey even here I do like that Empress though That's pretty cool And that Etna that's going for a crazy price there are more stores around that actually sells a huge assortment of items. Um, I'm just gonna maybe just show you guys and shut up for a bit right now. Sounds like a plan? Yeah. <laughs> zoom, zoom.
Good smile company seems to be here. Um, so there are they've brought some of their toys to go. Look at that. These are the Overwatch ones. Those are pretty cool. Figma figures. Nandoroid. And um, what are these? Girls in very provocative bunny outfits. That's Haruhi Suzuki. Oh, that is Haruhi. That is Haruhi. That is true. <laughs> okay, only coming over. No, it's not. It is. Ding, ding, ding. The answer is Megumin Bunny Baga. And Aqua. Or Aqua. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so more Nandoroids over there. Oh, look at the Kirby and the Zelda man. That is Link, not Zelda. Daniel. <laughs> Got people scolding me in the comment section already. Anyways, there is this which I think you will like, Angel. What? <laughs> and uh, oh, oh. All in your that's quite yeah, cool. that's pretty interesting though. But yeah, I think that's that's, that's what Good Smile has today. And I think day one is starting to draw to a close here already. Um, so thank you guys for following us on the pre, uh, um, yeah, yeah, sort of like a tour of the convention, um, where in the next few days is going to be definitely much more. Oh, check it out. They have a, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> the next few days will definitely be packed like crazy. Um, um, but we only landed in Manila, I think, late in the afternoon so it didn't give us much time to come down and film it whilst it was even more vibrant um, yeah but the next few days are going to be mad and then yeah do visit um, ToyCon if you can next year I think it's gonna be real fun yeah. Um, but yeah it's been a pleasure for us to show you guys around really quickly of what there is over here um, yeah but yeah. look out for the next few days uh, uh, or rather look out for the next few episodes that we're gonna push out and, and those are going to consist of, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe some of the store tours over here, uh, interviews, um, gee, I don't know what else are we going to film, but... Yeah, <laughs> content, you can just like, get sneak into it. Depends. That's if we yeah. can do something about it. But, thank you guys for watching this very quick and chopped up episode. Um, it's been tough to film in there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll try our best to do more to show you guys. More from the convention for the next few days. Thank you guys for watching this episode. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.